And uh, SNX says, you know what's crazy, man? We've only been together for one month. It's incredible. One month. Rebels you know gaming. What? what? The same amount of time as Falk has been together, so... <laughs> Uh, less and less excuses for them, to be honest. Well, that was one hell of a last map. Something they can be proud of. I will never forget that outer B hit. That one op flashbang peak. Yeah. But down goes bomb here in the pistol. Still zero pistol round wins for Falcons in this series, but it looks like that has finally come to a close. Okay. This one's going to be clean as you could ask. Heaven player dropping down, gets caught in the process. SNX called a fantastic game back on Anubis, even if his individual level wasn't world class. Here we go. The first of five Falcons win a pistol. To be honest, I think my IGL can frag too well. It's a little bit of a red flag. I don't like him that much. Sure, yeah. Calm down. Yeah. It's going to turn into somebody like Jame. Yeah. Jame blame. Glaive. Glaive? Yeah. At one point on. and now, yeah, come that's on. true. But it's Glaive. not a red flag with Glaive, okay? Except Glaive is officially a fragging IGL. As of Once again. Atavica. It's 2018 again. It's actually because Glaive famously stole a major from Poland. If we remember E League Atlanta 2017 at Comeback versus Virtus Pro. That is uh, a dark period in, in, in Polish CS history, okay? That was the end. Now he can make it up for them if they raise one in yeah. the Spodek. He could, now he can turn Polish, bring him a Katowice, make it up, make up for it. Olymp goes jumping into a quick demise. USP's here. Not meant to get much, and they won't. <laughs> Senex is flanked all the way around from T-spawn. Flay just killed Snappy. Ah, but Magisk makes sure to keep his guard up. Look at Flake grab. Mac 10, that's it. Caught out by the Heaven player. He's been found out. The jig is up. Down he goes. Three kills denied. Falcons, they'll hold up with the majority as they establish that 2 0. But it's immediate guns out of Rebels. So let's see if they respond fast. I've literally never seen Rebels start from the back foot. I don't even know how to approach this. This is just such new territory. It's like watching Prime Astralis lose a map entirely. Just feels watching, so wrong. Watching Rebels lose a pistol round, yeah. Rebels gaming, maybe. On to their first real rifle here. Let's see if they can start, stop this oncoming T side for a very angry Falcon set. They want to say they know Nuke, okay? They should know Nuke. How deep is the gameplay here? Or Rebels. How deep is the map pool? How deep is the nuke knowledge in CS2? Snappy comes through smoke, goes down, first casualty of the gun round. Are they aware of this potential timing? They should be. I feel like anything is possible with those smoke grenades up. They should be on high alert, but... Oh, oh he just missed it. SNX turns around as if to watch the garage. I want to say it's actually still a good sign that he went. He actually checked it. Like he Agreed. had a thought, yeah. Yep, but he just missed it by a second or two. Oh, limp, gotta look down. Oh my god. Oh. But he hears him. He sees him, he deals with it. 3v3 back in hand. Two players come out from Hut. They both get shut down. Kisarek holding that line on the front of the site. Olymp able to get all the way out from heaven. Sees the shadow. Woo! He doesn't react. God damn. Madding comes out with a double kill, sixth of the map. But Flay was world class back oh. on Anubis. Oh, stopping Tetris is it's the spot to be in. I don't think there's anything more Madden has to do. Flay can't walk out too far with his op, so it'll be a stalemate for a second. Madden would, of course, not like to deal with this op, not knowing where it's coming from, but you could have a good idea. Early scope comes in. He's crossing back to Hut. Found his timing. He got out of there. Oh, wait a second. Flay's I think Flay has made the right play. But he scoped in. Oh, my oh no. God. Oh, he had the read, but he makes the mechanical error. I think he thought that Madden was going to sit in HUD and then he would follow him back. I think he couldn't believe how right he was. Because if he stays scoped on that corner. He was safe. That was right. That was a great read. That was a great read. And Oof. Little self Madden actually played yet. that so well up until that point, too. 
Madden right, off to the races here, starting 7-0 and zero with a 1v1 clutch. Actually, if not, 1v3. Gets the kill on the vent player, Kisarek. Yeah, yeah, 1v3. Gets the upper heaven kill on Olimp. Ooh. And then closes it out versus Flay. That's one for Madden to be proud of. 3-0 start and lesser weapons here for Rebels. They're going to get aggressive into the lobby crunch. Trophy will show no contest. Beautiful oh timing on the peak out of Kisarek. 5-7 goes downstairs, hits the dink. Madden's down to 7 health. An entire pack of players led to the next pistol, but all is good as Boros churns through them. Whoa, flayed and shoot. Wait, they, they don't cross him up just yet. Now for sure, Sun Pius. He can stop that victim. bomb as well. Grabs an op as well for himself. His teammates also hands on already weapons. Already falling apart. Snap, he's got the AK back from Vent, but this one has hit a massive crater of a speed bump downstairs. Snappy turned away from the op. Flay, oh, loses his oh. face. 50 seconds still. Yeah, he should have just swung into that, basically. Snap, he gave him a chance. They might know one's clock, but I'm not sure. It's a great spot to be either way. Hard to clear, especially with a second CT available. That guy only has an MP9, but he's also unspotted. So, Snappy. Oh, there it is. Info known. Great move. That's the swing I'm talking about. Take it to them. I love all that trash talk that gets interrupted by, go oh, save the gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Right back to the server, make sure that. to grab the off. Yeah, I'm the guy who stands up immediately yeah. at land. And like, you see my buddy, you've still got an MP9, bottom. man. <laughs> let's, let's get those guns. Game's over, son. Yeah. <laughs> but it is nice to see Rebels answer with lesser weapons. That's crazy because last round, they got 1v3'd. So, Falcons, but that also means Falcons only had one player alive that round. So now they're half broke. They're going to buy three rifles, two pistols. Oh, a lot of presence shown by Falcons. That's Olimp running downstairs, but he comes right back. Floats around his smoke. Lots of ramp control here for Falcons super early on. All right, if Flay hits one out of the sky, you gotta say Bobby's Flay Souffle, okay? I'll try to remember that. All right. Kisarek up on door is about to have his hands full. Three players looking to push. Oh, only gets the one. Casey can't manage the multi-frag. We've got Olimp stuck downstairs, and the main wrap comes around with no coverage from the upper outer. Nice slice from Falcons getting into the site like that. We've got, of course, Olimp ready to come up from Vent. Flashbangs into heaven. And Olimp ready to pounce. But uh, it won't be easy for the op to simply get into this. He's got a flash for himself, which is boring. Never fun to do this. And Olimp just testing the waters here. They know he's going to come up at some point, but he doesn't mean he won't get the kill. In fact, he will. Snappy left alive, and he goes down from Batman. Flay up top. The whole coordination is a success. Everything goes so well, and they survive with three. Wow, that's amazing, man. Not a single kill in that post plant from the Falcons. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't point at something that Rebels did wrong there. That's crazy good, dude. That is so good. Kisarek getting the better of the timing. Good trade out of Sun Pius at least. The way they skirted around site, got into the back of it, planted safe, but Olim just flying up, dealing with Boros that swiftly. There to be support if needed, and Flay comes through as the guarantee. Everything was literally perfect in terms of uh, target priority, and it's not a situation where the target selection is just one person picking between three targets. It's three coordinating to do a distraction and then a peak, distraction and a peak, then a distraction and a peak, and in the right order of players at the same time. They did it all correctly. They've been together for a month. Molly disrupts the potential for the pop. Still plenty of flashbangs here for Falcons and an extra Molotov if they want to throw it out. They will onto the second vent. Good flash to Kisarek. Now he can't see Jack. Oh, man. We've got two players out from heaven, though. They're not going to waste a moment. Quickly extending oh, okay. the vent hold and just churning through the Falcons. Wow. Oh, is good. 
Those Rebels are... just not even giving them any space. You can go up there and like choke spray and mess up your... But they trust each other, man. They really believe they're going to go up there and get those kills. Sometimes a high-low advantage is not real if you have to expose your whole body and like you're aiming into the floor. It's very unnatural. You can really choke and mess up and those Tech Nines can drill you. But they, they truly have each other's backs. I mean, they really think their aim is all that and they are delivering on it. it. Is. The rotations I've, are fast. Dude, the, the kills from Flay have been something he should be absolutely proud of, right? Those combat off moments in the heat of battle with multiple targets, like when you can't afford to miss a shot because you have to get to the next engagement to cover your teammate and vent, that's what Flay is posting at the moment. That's what he did all Anubis long. No cross allowed here as these lesser pistols try to trickle through. Rebels, well, they've put themselves in a great spot to take a lead, but don't throw caution to the wind. Eagle's still out there. Boros connected for one. Snappy and Magis still headhunting. Crazy how they looked so average over on Vertigo. It really just looked like two teams that were off form or just not very good or not as comfortable as they thought they'd be on the map playing against each other. Having two halves against each other that had moments. Overall, who knows who really wins the game into Anubis, which is like lights out from Rebels, into Nuke, which stars a lot better for Falcons, and an equally impressive sort of answer back from the Rebels. Maybe it starts to fall apart severely on their T side, since we're in map three now. Can only expect their map pool has to suffer somewhere after only being together for a month. Because yeah, we're just looking for anything. Not having to Zonic. Yeah. Just looking for anything to hit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, we need to put another teammate next to him just because he's not getting enough yeah. out. We need to get Flamesy there just so he can slap somebody. He's looking at every camera, dude, <laughs> frothing at the mouth. Man, they want this. This is the beauty of having like a local hero team. Yes. Yes, they have an easier qualifier to get to Katowice, but God, they have to seize this opportunity as they come so far and few between, and so many teams ahead of them. Three years, we've had people, Poles, step forth and do so little with this chance, but Rebel's a different beast. Job not done, can't get ahead of yourself. Have to stay focused no matter how good those anti-ecos feel. It's a, a really good start here for Falcons. They snuck vent, yep. so they can... Oh, never mind. That, that guy gets hunted out. That was really easy. That sort of takes the wind out of things. So we just added flexibility for them to catch Lurks upstairs to defend against Vents as well. And uh, now they'll just have to hope that their lower players are good enough. Let's see if their rotations suffer here from the CT side going downstairs. New test. We saw that A site retake come through. Smooth as butter with the Vent to Heaven connection. But right now, Boros already peeling one off. We're going to get this late lobby Lurk. Kisarek trying to get into the middle, but now Sun Pius hits his headshot. Ah, uh, they're limping in. Yeah, Rebels, they don't even get a sight line on the bomb site before losing out, essentially. They've already given it up, so nicely done from Falcons. It felt like they had a foot in the door very early on. Yeah. Kisarek, hold on. Wait a sec. There's no, 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 no way. No, 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 Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God a Molotov. There's no way he has back. time. Does he have time? They've got to run through. Oh, okay. my God. Wow, so if that's a smoke. Oh, my God. If that's a God. smoke. Oh my god. If he had like, I mean, wow, I don't know. If he had uh, pushed to the if left he, side a little yeah. bit and then used the... If he wasn't exposed to double doors, but he yeah. didn't know, somebody could have left ramp. Yeah, who knows. He's, yeah. he's taking a gamble and... Get on it fast. Oh. That bomb may have exploded anyway, but... Still kills three. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Still kills three with bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a test for you. You'll never catch me. Definitely worth it. Bottoms out the bank accounts. That's, that's <laughs> funny. Keeps Falcons on the edge of theirs. Yeah, yeah. With that, we're all tied up. But yeah, it felt like early on we could see Falcons already getting away with the round. Slicing through secret with no contest. Met by fire on Redbox, Boros holds off. 
that looming threat of, again, the same round, the same cross, the same cost that came with it. SNX exposes Boros, but Ooh. guess what? He can shoot back. Yeah, that was nice, though. Then he'll take his cross right after. So a third of Boros' health left. Oh. Casey catching him. He actually doubled back towards Graj instead. Could have gotten secret for free, but opts not to. Olimp going to feel the pressure of the ramp hit. Three players coming straight towards him. Not bad movement still here for the CT. This could be kind of a hard situa situation to figure out, but I think they did two things right here. And <clears throat> Oh, oh my wow. God, what a flick by Snappy. That is really nice. That kind of saves it here for, for the Falcons. It's certainly not over, but... Yeah, Snappy knows how to get away now. Casey could try to find him, but Snappy's already on the... Yeah, he's going to try to make that a long round. Okay. I mean, Falcon's certainly going to end lower, right? Come on now. They're right on the brink of it. Ooh, oh, Snappy actually God. goes back. Casey finds him. Yeah, now, now, they, now it's definitely going to end lower. Leading themselves into Olim's crosshair. Bomb plant towards Astralis. No cover. Oh, my God. Wow, Magisk turns it over. He makes it. Forces 2v2. They Casey. plant. One player's hands will be busy. Magisk goes down. Casey, low HP. Suck Pius 1v2 for himself. And there comes another layer of defense on the attack. Flay with the up versus an upper and a shot in the side of the head. It's a free upgrade here for Suck Pius with the round win to boot. And finally, Falcons look alive. Energy rise. And now they're playing the same game. Now they're giving it back. Layers on that one consistently just whittling it back and forth. Trade late, trade late. Down to the 1v1. Sun Pius just jumping out of the way of that op shot as well, right? How many times have we seen Flay land those shots? Yeah. And this time just slightly off the mark. Yeah. This didn't go quite deep enough. Man, Snappy just gave it back. Yeah. Well. It's almost a sign of desperation, right? Sign of the emotional investment. Yeah. Embarrassment oh my is God. motivating. 5-7 is what? deadly. Casey, no. he just pulled off the double kill with the squeaky push. However, gets stuck into the corner. So, man advantage up for Falcons. They can group right up. Careful. Right down into Boros. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting in the vents for him. Flay on the other side with just the USP Sorry, now. Sorry, but if I got left click in the head, I'd be dead. <laughs> Boros runs away with the butterfly stuck in the side of his ear. <laughs> Another <Try> one. <laughs> just has a foothold in his head. Knife stab. <laughs> No, Falcons have kept it very reserved this whole time. Right? I think because they've been losing, yeah. to be honest. Through that beating of Anubis. Yeah, it's like they're just getting excited because they're actually winning. Um, Feels like that 1v1 had a map worth of see, I bottled call up it, emotion. For me, it's like our reserved is almost to say controlled. <laughs> but for me, it's almost like it was just so it was just like so bleak for, for a while here. You know, like a slow vertigo was sort of bad enough. If a, they, they won a close game on Vertigo, they're still not going to tell anybody about it. Be like, all right, we got through this. Then they lose the next map. I mean, yeah. now they're not cheering at That's all. True. There's not much pride. I mean, as yeah. far as Falcons are concerned, their yeah. mentality, a win over Rebels is nothing to be bragging about. Yeah, yeah. They can credit them for being a good team afterwards. I'm sure they won't give them any credit if they, if they, uh, if they lose. They'll just say, we played bad. But you had to be here, folks. If you were here watching this, you saw... Definitely some quality CS coming out of Rebels, but now also coming out of Falcons, finally. Better late than never. They two still finding out what their map pool is going to be. I'm not too fond of the idea of just giving them some excuse, though. Two teams that have <laughs> both put together within a month, except one of them has had, uh, you know, such un unbelievable name brand value. Zonic as a coach as well, and, like, just on an individual level, should be outshining all of these players. Uh, but can't, so... No, I, w I certainly wouldn't feel bad for them if some kind of upset happened, because Rebels have very much impressed. And I, I actually, I already hope to see some more games from SNX calling, and some of these players, I hope to see them back. I hope that they stick together. You go that far. Boros through the red smokes. Oh, they're going to get found out. Boros, the two kills on the CTs up front. SNX sliding through. Oh, read like a book by Snappy. 
but here comes oh, DC tonight. No. Barrels stuffed out of Boros, and we're starting to get that individual flair from the Falcons. Yeah, about time. That's good. Three maps into the series, and they're starting to lay it on thick. Carnage and Chaos at a Boros multi-frag. Four on the round. As he just layered it up on the red players, followed through to Garage, and he keeps waving at him. He keeps <laughs> smirking back. We saw Boros with the smack talk at the start of the year. He's brought it since the start of Falcons. Good read on that spray from Snappy as well, right? Just anticipating any kind of movements coming out of main. Yeah, yeah. Final round of the defense. Boros looking to tear through Outer again. We've got an auto shoddy on Kisarek. We got pistols and MP9s and scouts. It's a bargain buy and a scout shot that does hit its mark immediately. That'll turn Boros back for a moment. Yeah, it actually strengthens the secret push. It gives them a tempo if they want to try to take a peek ups here. And I think, what's Flay working with? Yeah, he's got a flash for top secret. I think they should go for it. Boros gonna find that fast flank. Yeah, he's got Almost. that. With support, but the pistol player, it's only damage. Oh, the nade from Ooh. Olim. That'll get the job done. Don't forget, right? First time that Falcons win a pistol in the series, convert for the 3 0. That's why the Rebels have played off the back foot. <laughs> Sidelined. See ya. And let's see what Magus can post. Oh my god. What the hell? I thought that I came through the, the wall. wall. <laughs> oh man. At least one more added to the tally. Rebels, they've pushed this series to a third map. Unbelievably so. Exceeding all expectations. One half left for one of these teams. And we genuinely don't know who.
Two and a half maps of struggle out of the Falcons, and finally something to cheer about. Individual level taking it up a notch thanks to Boros and his 16 and 7 half. It's a 7 5 lead for Team Falcons as they'll switch over to the CT side. The pistol round and conversions finally going their way, and I would say makes a real difference in putting a dent in the round wins of Rebels Gaming. A Cinderella story for the local team that made it to the group stage. Didn't think it was gonna end up like, I didn't think there was gonna be one really for this of it not. They were just so far on my radar. I mean, like, this is uh, this is really cool. This is, oh, he's got a nice surprise, man. CS just delivers these moments with these hometown heroes, baby. Love to see it. See if they win fighting. another pistol. That would be ridiculous. Certainly not gonna win another pistol. Oh, come on, they've already won five. Flay, starting to swing further, wants more than just the three. Madden sits up top. He's going to jump and chase and try to take it towards the ramp. I mean, we saw Flay go world class on Anubis. Unarguably, the reason they won that T side is lopsided as they did. Magisk's on the chase trying to recover this 2v4. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, sorry. I said five. They won four, but I was just talking to him from the future. I mean, I I'm not going to spoil who wins, so I won't go that far, but I don't know how they're going to lose this pistol. Surely not. Magis is already looking at those jewelry. Like, these are kind of expensive, actually. <laughs> I would love to have these next round. Yeah, I mean... Madden says, yeah, I got the Kevlar, too. So they're going to dip. They're going to save it, and Rebels will answer. Oh Five God. out of the six pistols Five in the out. series. Five out of six pistols. All the way of Rebels. Falcons versus Falcons. What is happening, man? <laughs> He's a... Yeah. Madden dies the bomb. How can they play together for a month and their chemistry is so good? It's so natural. Like, they've got such a good fit for each other in terms of all the trading. And they're... They have full, full execs and everything on because Anubis. unlike I mean, any international team, the one thing they all have in common is the dream of playing in a Spodek. Yeah. Because Katowice means more to Polish cores than it does anybody else. That and learning CS the same way can help out as well. Their own same version. United in their endeavor. It's a quick answer pack, Rebels. Oh my god, the flashes are excellent. But they get a little stuck up inside the choke points. USP oh, doing yeah. work. Imagine with a calmness puts two up right there and that's actually a quick eighth and I, I think that um, That could have done that could have gone a lot better for the rebels. They just they all kind of were They were hitting all the door frames when they were trying to get out through the smoke It was a very adamant push As if there was no other option that it had to be that and it had to be then yeah, yeah um <laughs> I think, yeah, definitely something went wrong right there. And just like that, there goes momentum. They're going to try it again. Oh. They do dive one down vent. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no way that works. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> that is so funny. It doesn't even turn. <laughs> He's just swinging that thing, hoping, hoping it would get longer. Yeah, $1,500 was so worth it, man. That wasn't even about the plant. <laughs> oh, this game's got it all. <laughs> I am crying right now. Wait, it was that, um, it was old. <laughs> oh, my God. Poor Magisk. The way he could just continue, his teammates were running the perfect distraction upstairs, like <laughs> shooting everybody, dying. <laughs> Couldn't even hear a thing, man. He got there in the end, but it is indeed another for the Falcons. But the money ain't bad. Full belt, AK and the Util. Actually a weapon advantage over Falcons this round. Oh man, that was a laugh. But it is also Falcons potentially looking at 10 right now if they stop and stuff this push. 
Oh, oof, through smoke. Yeah. Good confirmation. Gotta be wary of those HEs. They coming through this? Oh, it's all the pre-fire, and there's fire on the steps. One of them, it's gonna expire soon. Boros coming up. Boros on the quick hot heels of them. Oh, nice double from Boros. That takes him to 20 and nine. Oh no, it comes down to Ola. Ola, he's just here with himself. There was, where's that bomb? Was it in the vent or on the site? It's next to it. Oh, that's tough, that's tough. Dude, Boros is... He saved that. Boros is saving him, just like back on Vertigo, where I think the game was getting tight and Boros just went above and beyond. This is going to be two maps in the series where we can point to Boros and say, star potential. Uh, Yeah, but it's like, why is it... I don't mean to say, why is it Boros? Because like Boros is like known for being able to stomp at this level. That was already what he's known for, right? Like, literally. <laughs> the question was like, versus tier one teams, can he be equivalent to Nico? But for the rest of Falcons, what's their excuse? They're the ones who are trying to sort of foster the growth on Boros. I guess that makes sense that he gets the frags. No, I think. But he's really just, oh my God, wait, is there a chance to plant? No, it was so close. Uh, uh, that's crazy. Magisk was sweating for a second, but yeah, time expires, decides the 10th to Falcons. It's a little bit of extra money. Madden getting his one. He tried to get away, but they chased him. The second kill from Boros. Oh, this is it. Just finding the player jumping so, uh, into the It also stops the vent rotate down. That would have yeah. been Magis dead. Bomb gets hoisted or saved. You know, we say, why does it have to be Boros? Oh, man, my question is, why isn't it Sun Pius? On Vertigo, when they win, you know, he was sitting at 12 and 12. The Anubis loss, 11 14. He is under a 1.0 rating on the series. Yeah. And we're coming into map three. He's 6 and 12. Yeah, he's not been here. There he is. Oh, speak of the devil. Yeah, not like him. Especially to have a whole series in a row. Yeah, that's Let alone to a, a lower ranked team that's, um, you know, usually Sun Pius is a great gatekeeper. Here we go. Put him on the microscope and uh, that's a 2K that softens up the Rebels approach to the B play. We saw Madden throw himself up from single door last round. We'll do it yet again. Olymp loses his head and Falcons on a quick run to that 11th. That's one Tech-9 tapping downstairs. The other here in the hands of Flay looking for somebody outer, but CT's doing a good job of keeping their heads tucked. Ooh, that's Damn, that's sweet. a clean peek, man. In AK, things get interesting. He could come join Flay in heaven. That's there's, the best spot for him to be in right now. There's nothing to stop him from getting there. They have a perfect connection. And honestly, if Casey makes noise, he can actually get someone to make a mistake in favor of Flay if they come up with a vent or something otherwise. They're going to get moving anyways, but looks like why not go? And, and he could also... Bomb goes down, there's a player above the hut. Yeah, yeah, they, they're probably not going to figure this out, so he should just be sitting there watching heaven, I think. Or oh, no just cross. go and die the mini, yeah, okay. Now Flag's gonna get fully exposed I, I to Madden, it. who comes back and clears it, so he gets ahead of it, knows he has to dive. Oh man! Oh, the turn. Was He's giving himself a chance! Oh. No way, Flay. Make a moment, make a moment of he it. Here's it! All oh, three from Flay! Popped on the approach like it's nothing. Like it's a souffle, baby. Up top. Wow, that was sick. Those two Tech 9 kills were unbelievable. And the turn to dodge the flash right before that. That's a Kodak moment in and of itself. Disgusting from the man that was stealing his share of the pie on Anubis. Flake continues to serve here on Nuke. No crumbs. <laughs> Heart beating. Hands shaking. And I was I was incorrect, actually. It shouldn't have been backside watching Heaven because he was up there in a position that would have been exposed equally or first. So he did need Casey to get to do something. But just, uh, he love, also had to get out of Heaven after he died. I love the way he just pounces into the play, right? That was like, beautiful, trying yeah. Trying to hold, trying to help. Teammate goes down. Oh, it's all on me. The moment before Madden comes up that ladder.
He is down in Sun Pius's face, grabbing the AWP on top of it and posting a wonderful 1v3 clutch at the perfect moment. Rebels trail by three, but have the advantage in the guns. And just one more added to the highlight reel, a reason to believe. AK is chasing down secret stairs. This is the B site compromised already. They've managed to get past that Sun Pius op. Sun Pius better hang on to that for the follow up. And this B site's going to crumble. God, feels so good to get a clutch like that to follow up into what is an anti eco. Snappy jumps to attention, but he is just a USP player from above, right? Should be no problem. Plant goes down. And it becomes a two-round game. Falcons have to consider the thought of losing now. They have to consider it. It's been forced into their mind. Yeah. Even with Boros on this level of a scoreline, Magisk enters map three as the highest rated player for Falcons. Has had far little impact, tied with Sun Pius. And it's a lead, but it's one cut closer. Terrorists win. They look equally as comfortable on T side. But I don't know if it's going to be quite as simple. We saw their one upper exact look a little bit rickety. I don't know if they have that much confidence in it. That is a huge arm of the map to not be able to use if you are looking for five more rounds, for, for example, in this situation. Falcons still have CT here. They just have economic fragility to, to worry about. Rebels are explosive, they have clutch, and they've already shown they can play a default as well. Is the nightmare not over yet, Falcons? That's what we need to find out. And again, for every, everyone who's just like tuning in or wondering, SNX is the caller for this team. They formed a month ago. I, I just talked to them in the bathroom in between maps. They were all smiling. Uh, very excited about their, their performance. Be able, you know, taking that win on Anubis looked fantastic. If you missed that as well, it was an incredible T side. I recommend watching that demo genuinely. Um, and not for the Falcons, unfortunately. Hate to say that, but they're not there yet. But I just don't know what to say because they're, they're both brand new teams, literally. Um, uh, attitude 10 out of 10. They all, they're, they're from their coach. The way their coach spoke in the interviews was that they were going to have a, a, a demeanor of positive positivity, that they were going to uh, take every moment and like soak it up because they want to be a Polish team to represent here in Poland, in Katowice. And uh, they're already proud to see two Polish cores through. I had to add that there's also two Polish IGLs in Snacks and Shuhei, as well as Taz, the coach, who's the most legendary person here. Uh, besides Snacks, they could either of them making it at the playoffs or all. It's been a very successful event for Poland as a whole. And then, and this is just the, the side story, the dark horse of the side story, you know? It's the least expected story of all of the Completely. Yeah, it's... it's so to and, see them taking it to Falcons and to see Flay just having these moments of real brilliance. Yeah. You know, you take the name tags off. Or he completes it, yeah. In that one versus three from the rafters to hut, you take the name tags off and just tell me that's versus Falcons. Yeah. I'm thinking it's coming from a top 10 team. Yeah. Sickening double tech nine into instant op kill towards heaven and this isn't only one series of success they also had their best of one win versus cloud nine to open the event yeah that one sent 
tremors through the entire pack because it felt like we were beginning Katowice's play-in with two teams that could be completely written off and M80 not far away. Yeah. Little did we realize. Rebels. We're going to seize this chance with both hands. We've got their audio issues fixed up. We've got them trailing by two, but with the better buy over Falcons. It's the CTs with every penny spent. Rebels extra cash for a rainy day. This comeback's on. All set up by Flay. Bunch of nades coming out into Maine. They don't find any intended targets. And then we settle in. Yeah, and again, I think it'll be SNX's calls as well if they are going to pull this back for the amount of T-rounds that they need. So, he is in amazement that uh, everything's working so well together too. So it's not as if they have some genius casting director that has uh, scoured the lands to form the perfect composition here for this tournament. There was certainly some stroke of luck involved. These guys all working right together. But I, I, SNX's calling has been impressive regardless. I will be talking about him for some time after this, no matter what happens. Just say, hey, what about him? What about him as a next up? Always looking at new IGL. So, oh my god, it's actually such low utility here. Every kill hurts that much more. We've got a whole pack of players coming for Boros. Oh, he's not ready exactly. So he plays it safer and dives. Sunpai is sticking in the fire, but they don't jump in front of the scope. They will now charge headstrong down to the B site. Boros and Madden here to hold it, but one of them gets smoked off. Patient for the nades. Boros is going to have to do this on his own. They avoid him by going dark. They He's both good. die. Both players in the B site fall empty-handed. It's a perfect explode. They don't have control side. They don't have ramp. They don't have decon either, so they're vulnerable. But there's no CTs coming, and there's only two. They're going back to spawn. That was crazy. I mean, that was a perfect attack. Again, the coordination is ex excellent. And, you know, the one thing that should be showing the most in terms of, like, no matter how much... Like, I don't even know. With teams with time and stuff, it's like when you don't dry run a lot, that shows. When your XX are a little sloppy from coordinating from three choke points at once or two major parts of the map where you can't actually see each other, that, that's stuff that usually experience will complement greatly, right? That's something that is hard to replicate from other better teams that have been together longer. But they are having no problem showing really good timings with each other, attacking choke points, joining up. I mean, look at Boros having his aim split from the bottom of the ramp yeah, and over top play. of Dark at the same yep. time. Look how where the T's this. are right now. That. Oh, that's sick. I mean, it's perfect scaling. That's such a great screenshot moment from that POV. It's like, if you're that guy swinging dark, how do you not feel confident in your team? Because you've got so many layers right in front of you. You know even if you fail your shot, Boros is doomed. That's literally perfect scaling. So I have aim displacement, 101. Easier said than done. It looks wonderful from our perspective, and it's damning if you're Falcons. Matt and Dick, Desert Eagle, <gasps> no. Oh, he got two? Two kills off the top of Hut. This flurry, it gets <gasps> stopped in its tracks. Flay to recover it. Again, oh. no, not this time. Oh, they tried the upper hit, it fails twice. That's the second time, that's what I was saying, man. They had the, even though a lot of other things have looked good, that one upper attack that was so messy, they ran through the smoke, they died to the hut guy. Maybe this one was better, but the deagle shots were even better. Uh-oh, that's a dangerous call to make oh, and a, a very scary. How's he get two here? Oh my god. Nice shooting from Madden. Yeah, I mean, it's just gonna happen sometimes. It just couldn't happen right now. Madden saves a day for Falcons. Huge round for Madden to post. Rebels kind of like Hisoka. They want you, their opponents to get like strong before they defeat them. So they never let them have too many eco rounds to work with. They want to make it as legit as possible, so they'll have Casey on a Tech 9, they'll let Falcons get all the guns they need, and they'll go right back to hard mode. Fine. If you want it that way, have at it. 
See if they divert away from A. Sun Pius looking for his. Okay. Great into play <laughs> See ya. Olymp, though, there's a second op on the field. Boros with his catches one elsewhere, and Snappy gotta be cautious. Whole pack of players coming through that smoke. They want Grosh. Oh, they oh. get him. Kisarek in with the headshot. Magisk from the A play has got nothing to look at, but if SNX falls off. I feel like they have drops. Been. It's perfect. Oh my god. The flashbang finds Magisk. Madden on top of Silos. No! Cleared out by the IGL. That's his eighth kill. SNX leading from the front. Hard mode, like you said. They grab this one. Outer so smoked that it felt like Falcons could just sit there. But in sitting there, they let their guard down and they get swarmed. And Rebels take it right back. And Boros got his kill. And that would have been a perfect play to make. They have outside on a semi-aggressive setup with Sun Pius holding the fence. If he gets a kill, they run into Boros. They ran into Boros anyway. Maybe they wouldn't have used him so aggressively knowing that. But that could have been an instant 3v5. But Sun Pius gets straight up out-opt. Out-opt by perfect positioning from Flay. Boros finds his and that's it. An exit frag for him and Rebels right to 10 kills. Right to 10 rounds. Any outcome possible. And again, that was a big investment for the CT side. They won that one round. They're going to throw the op around. I don't know what they're going to buy now. They should have mostly good guns. At least having that op, maybe they'll have a full buy entirely. But this could really and truly be the map if they are not careful with their purchases. Falcons got every tool they need for this 12th. Oh, they're going to lay on the heat. Oh, 5v3 in an instant. Oh my God, this call so brave to make and it works out beautifully here for Falcons. They wait for their weapons. They use them well. They spot that bomb on the rooftop and they have sent a message back to Rebels. You need to fight every step of this way. Oh my God, it could be instant match point. They came in with no smokes into this round. They had to do something aggressive. Okay, full credit. Finally, Falcons don't look sleepy. Leave it to Snappy to call something fast. Yeah, they come for it. A 3v5 demanded of the Rebels. We've got Madden already inside main. Some players floating around. Ooh, but he sees it. Oh, Sun Pius is going to win the duel, but there's a second player on the smoke. Yeah, he's... Flay could have gone through, but opts not to. He is dotting around. Sun Pius being really careful, though. He's got a good coverage position. Oh, there nice. it is. There's finally a response back. They deal with the Spaniard, but Flay at this point has been found out, softened up, and versus four with a slow secret crawl coming in behind him. Or is it in front? Missed shot, and there we have it. Falcons take their 12th. Yeah, they get their 12th. Um, in with confidence. Yeah, and this is, you know, not two rounds where the upper site weak, or the upper site hold is very good, and they just sit there and win here. They go for the trophy push. They combine it with the lobby, lobby crunch, and it's like a perfect use of the purchases. It's not a totally low buy, but it's low kits. It's no smokes. So it is go ahead and loot your enemies take the smokes from them inside the lobby and win the round before it gets ugly in the end. It's the right play. Hard call to make this late into the game with the tournament on the line for you, potentially. Again, all this presence outer playing around the smokes. SNX may just try to crank the notch here. Snappy. Oh, they trade places. SNX is behind this. Wait, that actually works out so well. Snappy's still in a good enough spot to recover, and nobody else actually got out onto the site at the same time. That could have been awful. Instead, they're just going to charge four strong towards ramp. Boros here to hold it. Uh -oh. His chance. Sun Pius not going to let that slack go by. Sun Pius missing his next shot opens the heavens. It puts an op in the hands of Flay. We know what he did last time. He oh, needs another. he turns. And with Snappy down beneath him, that's where this one oh. ends. Snappy to Ooh. close it, and Falcon survive. Oh my god.
That was so nuts. They survive in the end after all of that. That is so crazy, man. I think that I want to believe that the Rebels would be happy no matter what happens in this outcome. But they know that they could have won this map. They could have won this series.